if we close below the swing like that, you're going to treat that as a breaker. You won't need to think about coming back up into here in this imbalance. Oh my goodness, did you just hear what he just said? He just dropped a diamond. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to be doing it all year long. That breaker gets touched right here. Does it respect it? Yes, it does. And we're what? Bullish on dollar. And it's trading to a bearish breaker. So this candle, when it hits it, is going to act as your resistance idea, that support and resistance theory. You can't just look at every swing high and swing low and draw a line on it and think it's going to act as support or resistance, folks. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. You have to have a narrative around why that specific high or low should act as resistance. And if you look at every instance where a pool of liquidity was rated and then rejected, in this case, the low before that high was formed, that's a bearish breaker. That's that's logic. That's real logic. That is not, well, you know, every single swing high and low, let's put a line on it. You're going to be frustrated, just like I was, which is the reason why everybody that uses that garbage loses money and they fail. If you believe the statistics, and I think they're accurate, most new traders in the first 90 days lose their account. But what's on the other side of those losing trades? Someone winning. And they're doing what? The opposite of whatever, whatever they were doing. So you just can't simply look at every single high and low, draw lines on it, and think it's going to bring you to riches. It doesn't work that way. You have to have a reason why a level should act as resistance. Why should it behave for, for support? And it's on the basis of liquidity. Has it done damage to traders that would have existing orders above highs or below old lows? Then, once that occurs, that's why, that's why I call it a breaker. I named it the breaker because it broke the backs of everyone that would have already probably tried to sell short here. It started to drop, and then they ram it right through them, breaking their what? Future profitable short. That's why I named it the breaker. It's breaking them. And it also does it. It breaks their will. It breaks their courage. They are not going to go back in it. When it goes down here, they're going to they're going to be like a deer in headlights. They're not going to trust anything because now they have been what? Demoralized. And they lost money. And retail traders freeze when they lose money. Which is, again, it breaks their spirit. It breaks their winning position that would have been if they wouldn't have had to stop right there they'd be profitable right now and i'm sure there's a lot of traders that were trying to do that in here because what they looked at these highs over here had a line drawn on it like i'm having here but mine was that i identified the buy side there's orders above that i want to see it go above those i don't want to see it go there and act as resistance go down there's a lot of traders that went in there and as it hit that let's go short put their stop loss somewhere up here <laughs> and randomly the market goes right to a level that I gave you and the reason for why it should go there and then it does the dirty work of going lower so for smart money traders that were not able to get short up here they get another opportunity they find another bus stop here it is the breaker it comes right back up hits it sell short now we're moving lower so now I have this level here 